All right, so Khloe Kardashian's team is reportedly doing major damage control and trying to get rid of an unedited photo of Khloe that has gone viral. Now, the photo has caused mass hysteria in the Kardashian household, so let's get into it. Khloe Kardashian has received massive amounts of backlash in recent months for her, what some people say are unrecognizable body and facial features. So when a completely unedited photo of her made its way around the internet, all those Photoshop assumptions were essentially confirmed. The unedited image of Khloe started circulating over the holiday weekend with many mixed accounts as to how the image got online in the first place. Some were saying it was a slip up by an assistant, while others claimed it was the Kardashian sister's grandmother, Mary Jo MJ Shannon, who posted it to her private Instagram account. The photo, which has been shared among Reddit and Twitter threads, features a bare-faced Chloe wearing a leopard print bikini while hanging out poolside over Easter weekend, as many fans who've seen the photo pointed out that there appears to be a complete lack of heavy editing in Photoshop, and honestly, Chloe looks just as gorgeous as ever. According to Page Six, the photo is authentic and has been confirmed to be Chloe. However, Chloe's team is reportedly in a frenzy trying to take down every last bit of evidence of the photo, under legal threats. Although Chloe's team also called the photo beautiful, the outlet revealed that they wanted it completely taken down from the internet as it was not authorized to be shared. KKW Brands Chief Marketing Officer Tracy Romulus issued a statement saying, quote, the color edited photo was taken of Chloe during a private family gathering and posted to social media without permission, by mistake, by an assistant. She went on to add, Chloe looks beautiful, but it is within the right of the copyright owner to not want an image not intended to be published taken down. Chloe's team taking such extreme measures is likely due to the fact that that her image is essentially her brand, as her Instagram is filled with glamour shots, edited photos of her face and body, and seductive bikini photos that show off those Kardashian curves. Chloe has previously been open about her body's flaws, sharing a post back in February being proud of her stripes, aka her stretch marks, but even then, many still accused her of featuring unrealistic body standards. While Chloe's team continues to do anything they can in tracking down the viral photo of her, fans who have already laid eyes on it are less concerned about the fact that she edits her photos and more upset over the excessive attempt to take down a photo of her actual body. One person tweeted the photo writing, Khloe Kardashian literally uses body positivity to try and push her good American brand. She posts photos of her stretch marks showing how real she is, but yet here she is scrambling to have a photo removed where she looks like a real healthy human being. And this person said, imagine taking legal action over a picture of what you actually look like. With regards to the unedited photo, many fans are expressing how refreshing it is seeing such a real photo of Khloe and are even urging her to continue sharing these unfiltered looks. This and tweeted, quote, Chloe looks so gorgeous in Palm Springs for Easter weekend. I truly mean that. She looks healthy and happy and natural and I love to see that. And another user said, so apparently Khloe Kardashian is working overtime to make sure this pic is wiped off the internet. Girl, you look good and normal. Well, y'all, it looks like the fans have spoken and the boats are in. Filtered photos are officially a thing of the past, so bring on the natural beauty. But to see why fans are accusing Kendall Jenner of shading Selena Gomez, click right over here for another Clever News video. And then let us know your thoughts on Chloe's viral photo down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, y'all.